Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how you can learn to code on your own. So giving you some top tips and advice on where you can start your coding journey. So in this video I will be sharing with you seven different tips. Okay, so the first place to start is by picking a suitable coding language. So this may seem very intuitive, but the best thing you can do is go and do some research, find out which programming language will be best suited for you, most suitable, uh, and something that kind of sparks your interest. So on my channel I teach Python because Python is one of the easiest programming languages for beginners to learn so if you are a beginner you know and you're wanting to learn how to code Python is perfect because you can develop this foundation of knowledge in Python and then progress onto other programming languages. That's how I started my coding journey by starting with Python and I feel like it was definitely the best decision to make to start with that program language and then progress onto other more difficult ones but equally if you're enticed by another program language that does different things then by all means you know choose that program language so the first decision you need to make is which programming language should I learn the next thing you need to decide is what IDE so integrated development environment you think you would learn best in so on this channel I teach PyCharm just because it's a very very nice IDE it's a, it's a nice place to code in I find for beginners IDEs are probably the best place to learn to code because there's a lot going on with coding when you first start uh, and having an IDE that helps you you know figure out how things work is the best. A lot of other channels will use VS code so Visual Studio code and I have used that previously and it is a really good IDE. So point number two try and find an integrated development environment that is suitable for you and one that you can pick up easily and, and learn easily. On my channel I do have a beginner PyCharm video so if you are thinking okay maybe I don't know what ID to you know to learn uh, check out that video and see if you can navigate your way around PyCharm it's a it's a very nice ID to use and very very nice for beginners the next thing you need to do and this is number three is find something that interests you so when you start to learn how to code you learn a lot of the basics that's just your general coding journey that's what happens you have to learn the foundations before you can go on to other areas but if you have a particular area of interest that means you can explore that while coding so let's say you know you want to learn how to do some automation python's perfect you can go and find some beginner series on, on automation once you've learned the basics that's why i'm trying to do videos like those where you can learn how to do automation or other skills in a coding language that doesn't require major uh, foundation foundational lot knowledge so yeah point number three find an area that interests you it will make your coding journey that much more enjoyable because if you're interested in a specific area so say say this is automation then you think okay I'll learn the foundations of Python and then I can go and progress with with Python uh, and learn automation in even more depth or say you want to learn how to build a website you can start with HTML then move on to CSS and then move on to JavaScript I think that's really really nice so try find an area that you think yeah this is this is what I want to learn and uh, go from there with it. Point number four and this is so important you need to find out what type of learner you are. So I release videos on my YouTube channel to teach people how to code. The reason I do that is because I'm a very visual learner and I know that when I was starting my coding journey uh, YouTube was definitely a lifesaver for me, for me. There are a lot of videos out there that help you and you can find ones that suit you because there are so many out there. That's why I decided to set up my channel just to offer a different approach and if people enjoy it then they can watch my videos and and learn along with me so I assume if you're watching this video you may be more of a visual learner but that may not be the case you need to figure out whether you learn best by watching people do it so YouTube videos and following them or whether you're a reader so if you learn through reading books or blog posts or whether you'd really benefit and learn from having a tutor Point number four is really important. You need to find out which way you learn best because I know if I was to read a book uh, and try to copy it through a book, I would probably struggle more so than if I was to watch a YouTube video just because I'm a visual learner and I enjoy watching videos than, and watch other people do it to start with. So I know I'm definitely a visual learner. So finding out what type of learner you are really helps with the coding journey and it makes it that much easier as well once you have discovered what kind of learner you are. Point number five, pick out beginner tutorials. This can be on YouTube, it can be online. I would say to steer away from courses that cost money because if you're beginning, you may never know whether this is gonna go anywhere. You may think, well, I'm just gonna try it out. I'm gonna see if I enjoy it and it may be a case of you may think this isn't for me and you you know put it away or you think oh yeah yeah I absolutely love this I think if you're a complete beginner and you're starting out I wouldn't recommend wasting money on these tutorial series there are loads of resources online you know YouTube if you're a visual learner YouTube is free absolutely free you may have to watch a couple of ads but that's five seconds of your time it's not five pounds or five dollars of yours 
So YouTube is really, really good. There are loads of free educational resources out, out there on YouTube. So if you are a visual learner, there are tons of beginner tutorial series that will teach you the whole way through. And let's say you start with a certain YouTube channel and you think, mm, I'm not enjoying this so much, you can literally swap to another YouTube channel. Or equally, if you like to read, there are loads of free resources online that you can use. So I would say, as a beginner, find free beginner tutorial series because there are a lot out there and it also means there's less pressure for you to kind of do well. I think if you pay a lot of money for a course and then you're thinking, well, I've paid this money, I, I need to, you know, enjoy it, I need to do well that's not the best environment to learn how to code because everybody's coding journey is different. So if you learn in an environment that's less pressured, you'll have a much better time. So I would say, you know, find beginner tutorial series and I would say definitely find ones that are free. Point number six. So once you've actually learned how to code and you're doing, you know, little things here and there, I would highly recommend for you to set up your own GitHub account. There is a video on my YouTube channel where I talk to you how you can set up a GitHub account for beginners. So there's no, you know, too much complication because GitHub uh, can, can get a little bit complicated if you don't know what it is. It's just essentially a place where you upload your own projects and your own code. So once you have learned how to code, I would recommend doing projects, finding projects online. There are loads of free resources online that you can just follow people's, you know, coding projects. Um, try and find projects of your own, you know, make your own code and upload all of those to your GitHub. Not only does it look great for your CV, you can add it to your CV and say, look, this is all the code that I've done. It's also a great way for you to see how much progress you've made. You know, you may start, start coding and you could see some of your projects that you uploaded. And then a year later, you can see how much, you know, coding you've done in that time. It may be a little, it may be absolutely loads. I think GitHub is definitely a great place because it shows you, you know, how much you are coding in, in that time and it gives you a real sense of achievement as well. So yeah, I would definitely recommend having GitHub and also just doing loads and loads of different projects because it really allows you to grow as a beginner. I think nothing allows you to grow more than doing projects um, because you get to learn so many different areas of, of coding and it all integrates into one, which is really really nice i guess the final thing to say is don't give up i can understand you know some people will do coding and it's not for them and that's absolutely fine but i'm trying on this channel to enthuse even more people into coding and to give you that little spark that you may not have ever realized was there i absolutely love to code um it's something that i just kind of do on on the side of everything else that i have you know going on in my life and it's just something that I really really love doing. I think it's very very rewarding when you do it so that's why on this channel I'm trying to make my videos more enthusiastic and just get more people into coding. There is a video on my channel where I talk about you know why coding isn't hard and what to do if you are finding it hard. I guess the final thing to say is don't give up. I've definitely been there. I've had times when I thought coding is definitely not for me um, and I persevered with it and I'm here today you know on my own coding channel and teaching people how to code and infusing more people into the world of tech. So the final thing that I'm trying to say is do not give up. I think coding is so wonderful. If you persevere with it, you will be able to uncover some absolutely incredible areas of coding and tech and just some amazing, amazing things. I have honestly loved my whole coding journey and at times it has been, I've been like, oh, I, you know, I'm not sure what's going on here, but that's all part of the process. I think if you're not challenged enough, you're not learning. So, you know, that's what coding definitely does. Those have been my seven points on how to learn to code on your own. I hope they've been useful. If you have any questions at all, just pop them in the comment section. And I had a comment on one of my previous videos just saying that they tried to message me on one of my social media. Uh, I usually just reply to my comments because I can have full access to my comments. I tend to just read the comments on my YouTube videos and I don't tend to check my uh, messages on my social media for my coding platform. So if you have any questions at all, comment them down below and I'll do my best to answer. Uh, no matter what questions they are, I will, I will do my best to answer them. But that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and check out all of the other videos I've got on my YouTube channel. If you are a beginner wanting to learn how to code, I have a beginner Python playlist. I also have loads of different things on my YouTube specifically for beginners. So check them out if you're interested. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.